Okay, so we've had this 3D printer for about six months now. What do you guys think of it? Very good. Okay, what do you what do you what do you like about it, Alvin? See, this is actually the first part we printed. Alvin designed it on Tinkercad, and we printed it. What did you think of that process? Very good. Okay, what do you got, Valen? This was a Pikachu we printed off Thingiverse. Just found it and then printed it. Uh, we did have to put a little bit of support material, which we broke off. Kaylee, what you got? We got dinos. We really like these dinos. We give them as like kind of gifts and stuff. They're kind of cool. It just prints in one piece and we'll put in someone's name, whoever we want to give it to. And, uh, and it's a cool gift to give someone. There's, there's two different kinds, white and... Yeah, we have the white one. And there's gray too. This is a sample one that came with the printer that gave us a little bit of filament enough to print a few things. This is a catapult we printed off finger. It's launching. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's a lot of cool things to print. Oh, this was uh, the first, the only thing we've ever painted. So we printed in this gray material, and then we print. You want to show how it works, Valen? Yeah, so it's actually openable, and it's like five different components with a pen spring in there to release the, the catch there. So it's a pretty cool thing. And then we just spray painted it red and white. It turned out pretty good. There's the base we spray painted black. Um, some spinning tops. I made a cookie cutter. Um, so we could, uh, in a heart shape, I don't know what the cutter part is, but this kind of makes the name. That was my Valentine's Day gift to Sun Marie. Um, Sun Marie designed this. Oh, no, Valen designed this rocket, and Sun Marie designed this rocket. Um, so some cool things they just did on Tinkercad. Right now we're printing out a bird feeder, because um, uh, all the ones on eBay we're taking are going to take forever, and I think our quail are going to hatch uh, tonight. So I needed a bird uh, water feeder to feed them. So that's what's rolling. So I actually bought this 3D printer. It's the uh, Ender 3 Pro at Micro Center. It was only a hundred bucks on Black Friday. And honestly, it was a little complicated to set up. I did do it all myself. Maybe it was more complicated because the kids were around. Anyway, this is Tinkercad. Alan's playing around and we made that together. That was the first thing we did. Tinkercad's free. Just go to tinkercad.com. I don't think you even need an account. You just go. And then we downloaded Cura by Ultimaker. Um, so you kind of need those two programs. Those are the only two programs you need to start getting printing. Although we like the, uh, the website uh, thingiverse.com to get cool things. Uh, there's Alvin messing around. So this is like the, really the first time he's kind of been on the computer. He was only four uh, at the time of that. Um, this was something we did download from Thingiverse. Uh, those are those dinosaurs we were showing you earlier. They're really cool. Um, but yeah, no, with kids, it's been a really cool experience, especially like him just learning CAD and just messing around. He loved them um, just like making like little weird creations on, you know, he would just grab objects and move them around. But he would spend, you know, a good couple hours on there just looking at it. And we got to do other things like spray painting. I don't know if this was the first time, but it was uh, it was one of the first times and we were sanding a little bit. Um, you know, they're really into Pokemon right now. So I was kind of feeding their interest there. Uh, but it was cool, you know, making operational Pokeballs, you know, getting other mechanical devices in there using glue, using springs, and working latches. And, and uh, yeah, I feel like it was a really good thing with the kids. It definitely comes in like spurts, like sometimes they'll be really interested, let's print this, let's print that, let's uh, make this, I want to design this. Uh, I was hoping they'd be a little more creative, but I just think they don't have the skill set in CAD to really be as creative as I was hoping. Um, I did do something creative with this. I was explaining, you know, on Valentine's Day, I made these cookies and this cookie cutter. So really the sky's the limit with that. Um, there's so many options that you can really do with this and, and it can be really a cool thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, sometimes you're just making trinkets, you know, little Pokemon things that are useless. But other times you're making pretty useful things. Something breaks, you can fix it. Yeah, our toothbrush holder just deteriorated, so we just printed this elephant with a spout. And it's pretty cool, the kids really enjoy it. So there's a lot of cool elements to it. So, um, but you know, I was thinking like if my child was a little older, I think it would be more useful, but I'm definitely glad I bought it, especially for such a cheap printer like this. I think it's $300 brand new. Maybe wait till Black Friday, get it for a hundred bucks. And you know, then it's definitely worth it. Definitely some cool things you can do. And I definitely just enjoyed it. And you know, we're still on our same roll of filament. I think the filament is, was like 17 bucks. Uh, if you look, open up the, the 3D printer box, there's a $10 coupon in there, so you can use that at Micro Center. So I think we got a roll of filament for seven bucks, and we've, still, we've been using that for the last six months, so it lasts. Um, yeah, so anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, wish you the best of luck. Godspeed.